What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another training guide. Today we are taking a look at the epic Arsenal players. So first up we have got Jack Wilshire. A lot of people giving out about Wilshire lads. A lot of people giving out. Why did I just call him Wilshire? As if he's my buddy down the road. My friend that I grew up with. <laughs> anyway, Jack Wilshire lads is uh, from the 19th of October 2013. Um, and he is in the 150 pack. So you've got one chance out of 150 of cracking him. Uh, we're not probably going to spin, I don't think, for these because I don't think that he'd get into the squad. I'm going to show you why, right? Even though he's down as a right midfielder, um, I'm definitely going to play him as a center midfielder and a, and a attacking midfielder. I'll show you two different options of him. Now, on the surface, lads, his card is very decent. He's got, um, he looks a bit like James McLean there, but he is a creative playmaker. So he's a right midfielder, but he can play a left mid, right mid, AMF, CMF, or DMF. So he is a fairly decent card. I think the big thing that kind of throws uh, why I think this card is going to be extremely meta and extremely overpowered is because of his aggression. That's something that Pedri has as well. Um, and it's huge, right? It's huge. But I will show you a different version, two different versions of cards that stack up really similar to Wilshire um, as well towards the end. Now, he does have some really good player skills, double touch. He's also got soul control, which is very nice on a card like this. Low center of gravity, versatile run and gun, one touch pass is beautiful. True pass and weighted pass, no look pass. And he also has fighting spirit. He also has unwavering form and he's on B rating. So listen, lads, it's a very overpowered card. I think it's, it's an extreme, generous card for him to be fair um it's not really balanced in like my opinion um he was a fantastic player look don't get me wrong he was a great player but is he kind of like um up at the same kind of tier as other cards um you know he is on paper and i think that he'll probably play way better than uh, than he possibly should comparing him to other cards such as ronaldinho and players like that i think they need to rebalance the cards but anyway that's a whole other discussion now we're going to show you two different versions of him right so the first version is here now this version of him here is all about kind of being a defensive minded center midfielder right so he goes to a 93 overall as a center mid he is down as a right midfielder or a left midfielder as a 94 rating, as you can see in the bottom corner on the graph there, the position graph, right? Now, I do think that this card is an extremely overpowered card, especially with the fact that you've got so much player skills there, including fighting spirit to get back all across that central area of the pitch, and that you can play him right or left midfielder, kind of doing a man-marking role with that aggression and with that stamina and acceleration as well. And then, of course, when you're on the ball, you've got some of the best dribbling skills in the game. With the form arrow, because he's got unwavering and he's going to be on B form, you are going to be getting boosts when the form arrow is up. You are going to be getting boost to dribbling, tight possession, low pass, to bring all of these three stats into the into the high uh, or into the low 90s, okay? We're also going to be getting a boost to um, acceleration and balance. And acceleration is going to be like 82, 83. Balance is going to be a 90 as well. So you're going to have balance, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and low pass, all 90 plus. You're also going to have aggression 90. You're also going to have acceleration 82 or 83. And then you're able to finish. You're able to curl. You pretty much can do everything without boosting the shooting on this card or the aerial strength. That's probably the only thing is he is a bit weak, but the balance should compensate for that. Okay, we've also got lovely player skills. I do like this card. We've maxed out. Um, we've put eight into everything except seven into the defendant to get that seven aggression there to have 90 aggression. Now, if you're looking for a kind of a similar card to this, I would have a look at Dominguez, who is a box to box, but he does have one touch pass and he has double touch and he also has fighting spirit there as well with 90 aggression, acceleration, stamina, all of that are similar. Passing and obviously won't be, but he's only 18,000 GP. So that's just a little side uh, track on that. Now, the second version of him is kind of going the other way, right, which is a attacking midfielder, right? We're going to be playing him in the hole. Even though he's a creative playmaker, I do like sometimes mixing it up with creative playmakers and hole players where you have different kind of things going on, right? So for me here, I'm going to be taking a look at Jack Wilshire um, in a system of kind of having him as my link man, right? So he's still able to have that aggression off his base card, which is going to be 83. That's going to, get a, that's going to be more than enough um you know for defensively we're not going to be really playing him there because we're going to have an anchor man in a box to box he's going to be like our third man attacking midfielder or center midfielder in the middle linking the strikers and the defenders okay so speed is fine stamina balance everything is good we have maxed out the dexterity to get the ball or get the balance up the acceleration up and the offensive awareness up 
And then we also have ball control, dribble and tight possession, low pass, all around 90 mark as well. I like this card as a 94 rated attacking midfielder. I definitely think he could be good if you are going that route. Now, if you are going to be playing him on a left or right flank, I would remove the shooting. I would completely get rid of that. And then I would probably get rid of the passing a little bit low as well. You could leave that if you want, or actually no, I would probably leave that as is. I would just probably boost up the dribbling a little bit as well there um, if you wanted to go that route. Still a very similar card. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back soon. Let me know what you think of Wilshire. If you are looking for an offensive alternative, staying free to play a role to glory, I do definitely recommend uh, Sergio Canales. This guy is a creative playmaker. He's got double touch. He's got one touch pass. Um, he's got pinpoint cross and true passing, long range shoot and chip shot uh, control. He's also got very similar play styles as you see there. Wilcher's got Mason Run and Long Ball Expert. This guy has got Long Ball Expert, Long Ranger, Speeding Bullet and Mason Run. He's a left footer. Uh, Jack Wilcher's a left footer. They're both creative midfielders. Um, Canellis is a bit stronger, obviously, and a bit taller, but not by much. Um, he's only 82,000 GP. So I definitely think he's worth, worth having a pop at as well um, if you are looking for somebody like, you know, a bit different. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.